Hi, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. Um, what I want to do today is give you a demo on how to import multiple files into SQL Server Analysis Services using um, a Multiple Files Connection Manager. So as an overview, um, I'll just cover off a few, few points. So why would you need to import multiple files? Well, uh, in my experience, uh, and that's in uh, a call center type operation, um, we um, generally do it when we want to import system generated files. And in our case, um, we get leads files um, on uh, for customers that we need to call. Um, and those files are generated on a daily basis, but we only actually import that into the CRM system once a week. So um, being able to import multiple files in one go is really useful in that sort of situation. Uh, there's three um, different approaches you could use to um, access or connect to multiple uh, multiple fi files. Um, you could use the uh, go into the control flow. You could use a uh, the for each loop functionality, and that's basically just um, looping logic. Uh, and for each cycle around that loop, you could pick up a new file, and you could uh, define that file using a variable. So that's probably one of the more complicated ways to do it. You could uh, you could also use separate connection managers to each of the uh, of the files, and then merge the uh, the files together in a uh, using a union or um, uh, transformation within the data flow part of uh, of integration services, um, and the the problem with that um, approach is that if you're getting if you get different numbers of um, of files that you need to connect to, you need to build a new connection manager. So it's that's the sort of downside of that. And the third approach, which I think is probably the easiest uh, approach when all the files are the same format. Um, is that you could um, use the multiple flat files connection manager. So what I'll do is I'll give you a simple example of um, how um, how to um, implement a, uh, a multiple flat files connection manager, and then after that I'll talk about some uh, some of the additional resources we have for integration services. So with this uh, simple example, I will go over a direct or hard coded. Conne um, connection where you very clearly speci specify each individual file you want to connect to, but I'll also talk about how to set up a wildcard. So basically, the connection manager will connect to all of the files within a uh, within a directory. It doesn't matter if you throw a few extra in or change the names of them; it'll still load all the files, and that can be useful in a number of different uh, situations. Okay, so we're going to import three um, three files. Um, so we've got data uh, this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday file, and basically just has uh, some customer ID information of the day of the week. And we want to uh, load this into the um, integration services package, so I'll just close those down. So the first thing you do is you go into the control flow and you uh, drag a data flow task uh, onto the uh, the work workbench, and you double click through. Um, and first thing you do is uh, create a connection manager. So you can right click this uh, connection box down the bottom, go new connection, go down to multiple flat file connection and click add. Right, so we'll just call this uh, multiple flat file. And what we need to do is then browse and find the, um, find the file. Now it's in text here, and then we select the files. So you can just drag over it, right, and that's picked up all three files. Click open, and one thing to um, to note when you connect, uh, when you create that connection, um, it's connected to each one of those individual files separately. And as you can see here, there's a pipe between each one of the um, uh, file names. So uh, let's see one here, see another one here. Um, and what we can do is select uh, view everything. That's all looking pretty pretty good. Click OK. So we've created that multiple flat file. So all we need to do is drag a data flow source, and that's a flat file source. Double click on that, and it's automatically populated. The, uh, the connection manager with the multiple flat file one I've created. 
um, get the columns yeah that's all looking pretty pretty good and what I'll do just to make this visible uh, I'm not going to create a destination in this uh, in this case just because it'll take a little bit extra time so I've got a derived column in here drag that to there and I'll cr create a data viewer so this will just be able to show us the output of the uh, of the file of the uh, connection that's it I'll save it now I'll just set that running and that should bring in approximately um, 9, no 12 shouldn't it so Monday uh, Tuesday okay of course what it's done here what I've done here is that I have pulled in the column headings as well so I'll go debug stop debugging go back to the flat file connection manager column and click down here column names at the uh, in the first row of the data um, so that's looking so this is just a warning that the metadata has been um, changed so I'll say automatically correct these click OK and now this should uh, should do the trick look at that so now I've got the uh, the column names at the top so Monday Tuesday Wednesday but what you'll find quite often is you get at will get a um, a different number of um, of uh, files on different days, and at the moment this is hard coded in to the um, to to pick up just those three files. So um, where are we? Multiple flat files. So for example, if I brought in Thursday data. Um, the uh, the connection manager wouldn't pick up to pick up this additional file because it's um, been hard coded to these um, three other files: a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday file. Um, so I'll just paste that in there. So what you can do if you if there'll be variable numbers number of files appearing at different times, you can uh, put a wildcard in the connection manager. So as I mentioned before. Um, these are pipe separated so I'm just going to delete out those so I've just got the reference to the one uh, the one um, file there and replace the day with the star which is the wildcard so what this will do is refer to all all files within that directory so now we should get the Thursday file coming through There we go. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So there you go. That's all pretty easy stuff. Um, just a matter of really know, being aware that um, of the functionality and um, when to use it. Okay. So that's um, how to import multiple files into SQL Server Analysis serv Services using um, the Multiple Flat Files Connection Manager. Um, if you want to learn more about SQL Server Integration Services, um, hop across to Analytics in uh, Action, my blog on um, analytics and um, data analysis and data integration and business intelligence, or um, also sign up to um, uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, definitely um, come across and have a look at the the blog. Like I'm saying, there's there's stacks and stacks of information on um, integration services there. Um, lots of uh, really sort of in, um, short but insightful um, videos on the various components of integration services. Also have quite a bit of information on um, on reporting. Um, uh, reporting functionality, also uh, predictive modeling, and uh, just analytics in uh, in general. So I hope you um, hope you found um, hope you found this uh, demo useful.